What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if we are going to get the Dying Light 2 release date at Gamescom. So, you know, I've talked about Dying Light 2 before. My concerns of this game are getting a little bit uh, more, uh, a little bit more heightened as the days, as the weeks go on, even with them delaying uh, the Hell Raid DLC. So, we're going to talk about all that, but we're going to talk about how Gamescom honestly does provide one of the better opportunities for this game, uh, at least in the upcoming months, right? So, before I jump into this, though, I want to promote our Twitter really fast. Podcast Now 15 is my Twitter handle. If you guys have not yet followed me, uh, give it a go. I, I interact with people over there as well. I also try to promote what is coming video wise uh, over there. So, if you guys want kind of a sneak peek of what to expect, I do that over there as well. So, all right, Gamescom, Jeff Keeley's Gamescom. I uh, know, uh, you know, Jeff Keeley, we talked about him before, right? Great guy. Uh, you know, really, the stuff he's done for the gaming industry can't be understated, even though sometimes he hypes things up when they don't really need to be hyped up, that they end up not really working out. And Dying Light 2, you know, that has its own problem, you know, honestly, it has uh, its, its own really, really big problem. So Gamescom is just under a month away, okay? I believe it starts August 27th. It's like a two, three-night event. Uh, he's going to have, you know, the, the live show. And, and I remember, you know, last year's Gamescom wasn't the worst thing in the world. I think there's been stronger Gamescoms in the past, but Jeff Keighley kind of taking them over, I really don't think has majorly upset kind of like the balance, you know what I mean? When you look at this, okay, and again, you look at what's coming up or the next couple months, really, Gamescom is the best case scenario, I think, for Dying Light 2. So Dying Light 2, we've talked about it before, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not leaving this point of view, okay? Dying Light 2 could just announce its release date, and by that, I mean Techland, right? They can announce the release date whenever they want. They don't need a conference. They don't need a show. Dying Light 2 and Dying Light, I should say, like the, the franchise, right, the property, very big, very big, very popular. So they don't really need help in order to do something like this, but it doesn't hurt to have a kind of a show have more eyes looking on it and again with when you have hell raid the dlc obviously delayed now into right I, I think actually maybe like a week before games kind of like the 20th 21st you know uh that kind of endish of august is when the hell raid dlc comes out look honestly you know and, and like i've said you know i do think this game has had some troubles okay at the same time i really do want to remain very very positive on this game i've, I've said it before the gameplay that we've seen which you know at, at this point we're we're just looking at the same gameplay over and over but I honestly really like it. I mean the first Dying Light was tremendous the DLCs and the fact that they have promoted this and, and kept this game going right actually like updated it uh, over and over and over again is awesome it's really awesome to see something like that happen I would imagine they would do the same thing with Dying Light 2 and again from what we've seen of the gameplay of Dying Light 2 I'm really impressed I really really want to play this game you know you look at games that we talk about like could they be like a next gen game like they feel like they're made for next gen Dying Light 2 is tough because obviously it was supposed to come out, you know, last spring. So it was clearly supposed to be for current gen. But I think with the different technologies that are going on with the PS5 and Series X, the way Techland talks about that technology, I really do think when this game comes out, it's going to, it, it maybe, it, it's not going to be a game built from the ground up for next gen. But I feel like it's going to maybe do more than Assassin's Creed Valhalla, if that makes sense. When that game was uh, shown in terms of gameplay, a lot of people were kind of disappointed, including even myself. And I think it's because we kind of hyped ourselves up to think like this was the next gen Assassin's Creed because it would have that uh, that next gen version. But in all reality, it still very much feels like again. Does it look bad? No, I actually really really like what we saw of Valhalla. It was just disappointing, and that's only because it felt a lot like past Assassin's Creed. So Dying Light, we'll have to definitely see. But again, this game has been through a lot. This game was supposed to come out. We've talked about it before. When you delay a game indefinitely, okay, it's not the greatest thing in the world. I honestly, you know, we're seeing movies movies because of what's going on around the world. A lot of movies delay themselves indefinitely and then just give themselves a release date like a week later. That's It's not really the same, I would say, uh, from the film industry to the gaming industry. Film industry can get away with doing that, the, the indefinite thing, because honestly, when they do that, they tend to announce another release date relatively soon. Because movies are known to come out like two, two and a half years past when, you know, like right now, like we know movies that are coming out two plus years after, you know, like 2022 or around this time. Games are a lot different, right? So when you delay a game indefinitely, it's not a great sign. Watch Dogs Legion obviously have that. And what I will say is, 
we can actually see the benefit of them delaying Watch Dogs Legion for an extended period of time. It sounds like they've added a lot to that game. So you could say, all right, well, Dying Light 2 also being delayed a full year plus at this point, right? Maybe, you know, that majorly, majorly helped them. And again, I would not disagree with you. The problem lies in that rumor, okay? And I believe it was, I don't even remember, honestly, January, February, like it was early this year. Remember there was the rumor from Techland that was like, this game is a disaster. This game is in like you know, a very, very grave state. There's been so many problems with it, this and that. And then they came out and they said that that's just flat out not true. Look, the longer you don't have a release date, the longer you don't show us anything, the more that kind of creeps into our heads. Now, now I do worry about those kind of things. That just kind of is the person I am, but I'm also a very optimistic person. So I want to believe in the best for the game. I want to believe that this game is fine, that everything's going according to plan. At the same time, literally that last part, there's no way it's gone according to their plan because the game was supposed to come out over a over a full year ago okay by the time it comes out it could have been delayed like two years okay and that, that's a if it gets delayed or if we get a release date let's say for spring of 2021 two full years that that game had been delayed so that is quite an issue that's not something that happens every single day to every single game you know what i mean but when could we get the release date well we talked about that before right we have this promotion going on uh, that we talked about a couple weeks ago which seemed promising i saw a lot of people say like that doesn't mean anything it's not going to result in anything i still think think I still want to believe that that you probably should give the release date of this game within the next little while you don't want that that uh, you know, the promotion to end where people you know if they buy the monitor they buy the PC, or you know whatever it is whatever you have to spend in order to get the free ver uh, free copy of Dying Light 2 you don't want to give people the reward of winning Dying Light 2 but then also say oh yeah well oh and then, and then they say oh I didn't even heard of Dying Light 2 when does the game come out and they say indefinitely like I mean we don't know the date right doesn't exactly seem like it's a great now again I know that's going back into that topic where a lot of people said it doesn't mean anything I still think it's more beneficial of them to announce it you know sooner rather than later another thing and you can think of this I know I'm jumping to Gamescom there is still the state of play there's a new there's you know a PlayStation state of play this upcoming month there's probably another Xbox event so there are going to be two other opportunities for Dying Light 2 to appear could it happen definitely could it's, it's appeared at conferences before so I don't think it's impossible I just think Gamescom if they're going to skip these things. And the thing is is this. I say it specifically for state of play because what we've heard about state of play, we may get the user inter uh, interface for the PS5. We may get the launch game. So we may get a lot of games that are coming out right away. Now, I am split on Dying Light 2. I do think it's still possible in a very surprising, t and I would be surprised, honestly, but it would be a good surprise if they say, hey, Dying Light 2, like, let's show it at State of Play, or even show it at Gamescom, whatever, and the game launches this fall, launches uh, early November or late October. You know, I mean, October is already completely filled, so I'd prefer no more games to come out in October. So let's say November, okay? So Dying Light 2 comes out in November. I mean, that would be a very big thing. And again, if the game does come out in the fall, does come out in November, does come out around launch for PS5 and Series X, then it is possible that maybe it is at a state of play. So, I mean, bottom line, I do think the clock is ticking. I've said it before. They need to probably announce the release date of this before like the end of September. I really do think you got to get ahead of it. The, the positive is because we already know this game exists, again, it's not the same as announcing a game and then releasing it two, three months later. We already know that this game exists. They could theoretically kind of bring it back in the spotlight, show another gameplay, you know, footage thing another 10, 15 minutes of gameplay and say this game comes out in two months or this game comes out in three months. Or, you know what I mean? You can do that. You can do that because the game is already around. We know about it. We've seen it before. We know its history. We know the franchise of time. You know what I mean? So it's got a lot of things honestly still working in its favor. I love talking about this game because I really did like the first Dying Light and I think there's so much more potential for a sequel. I honestly didn't give Dying Light the time it deserved. Okay, I really didn't play it all that much, although I did definitely enjoy uh, what I did play. I actually watched my friend play it a whole lot more as well. So, I mean, I've experienced it to some degrees, but I really, I mean, this is the game, Dying Light 2, I think I really am ready to jump in and experience it, and it just sucks that, like, now is the time that I want to get into it so badly, and I guess you could say, well, jump back in the first Dying Light, I mean, they're still, uh, you know, they're still updating it, they're still adding things to it, I mean, that is a good point, but I think Dying Light 2 is the 
entry point for me, which honestly, honestly, I think it's going to be the entry point for a lot of different people. And it just sucks that it's gone through this where, you know what I mean, where it's just been a kind of disaster after disaster. Again, I don't want to believe that the game is in some grave state where when it comes out, it's just going to be a joke and a disaster. And we're going to be like, oh, okay, clearly something was wrong. I don't want that. And I also, for the most part, don't think that. But at the same time, with everything that's happened, with this indefinite, del again, indefinite delays do not help anything. In terms of in terms of saying it, now again, delays, I'm all for delays. If you need to delay your game, go ahead and delay your game. But in terms of saying it's delayed indefinitely and then you don't show anything, you don't talk about anything, your DLC for the first game gets delayed, all this different kind of stuff, you know, there's no gameplay anymore. We have to start questioning things. And again, as the months go on, I mean, here we are, we're approaching next gen. So Gamescom, I do think is possible. I think if it's not at state of play, then the next, whenever that is, now I'm recording this, they haven't confirmed it. I don't know if they've confirmed it, you know, when you guys are watching this, but if it's not at the state of play, if it's not at the Xbox event, which honestly, wasn't it at the Xbox E3 last year? So, I mean, it could definitely pop up. Uh, if it's not at either of those places, I do think Gamescom is the most likely thing. I don't think, you know, again, it could just randomly appear on its own, and I think that's definitely possible, but Gamescom, I don't know. It's a multi-day event. You know Jeff Keighley's going to try and get a couple, you know, major developers, and also just some random titles here and there. I feel like Dying Light 2 kind of fits a bill of what Gamescom is. You know, you're going to have the really big headlines, which some people would say Dying Light 2 would be one of those, right? But you're going to have the really big headlines, and then you're going to kind of be picking, right? You're going to be picking these developers, picking these publishers, picking these kind of just games that are that are soon to come out, that are a little while away to come out, that people know about, that people don't know about. I think Dying Light 2 honestly fits that kind, like that kind of idea, that kind of premise of a show. I think Dying Light 2 fits that really, really well. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think Dying Light 2 will get its release date at Gamescom? Do you think it'll be maybe at a state of play, the Xbox event? Let me know your thoughts. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you all on the next video.